All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, and this is the place to be for everything landscape photography. Today, I'm talking about probably, I'm not sure if it's an unknown or an unheard of or not that popular app, but I'm here to educate you. We're talking about the photographer's ephemeris. It's going to be a good one. Let's roll that intro. <sighs> All right, guys, how was your week, your weekend? Me, it, winter's here. Winter is finally here. We just got dumped on with a whole, whole bunch of snow. I think we got like, uh, uh, I think was, they said between 15 and 20 centimeters worth of snow. It's here, and I guess it's here to stay. So, oh no. Oh well. Canada, it's Alberta. What, what, what do I expect? But uh, okay, so a um, couple things here before we uh, we dive into this video. One new channel update. I'm going to be starting to release videos every uh, Wednesday, starting the time that you see this, November 11th, and Sunday. So two videos a week every Wednesday and Sunday, starting on November 11th, which is today when you guys are watching this so that's fantastic uh, we hit the 50 five zero mark for entries in my giveaway contest um, so I'm giving away two $25 gift cards to Amazon um, all you have to do is look for the best uh, photography lenses um, video that I put up, I think it was about a week or two ago. Uh, make sure you comment what camera you are currently using for landscape photos. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. You'll be entered. I'll pick two people at random on November 30th. So keep on keeping on. Good luck to everybody. <laughs> All right. Oh, one last thing. Make sure you go down here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when I upload my next video, which again is every uh, Wednesday and Sunday now. Wednesday and Sunday. Oh. Also, follow me on social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Links are in the description below. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so today I am talking about the uh, photographer's ephemeris. Man, I had to do a double take ever since... Uh, uh, I started pronouncing that word, ephemeris, and I was like, is it emphasis? Emphas no, it's not emphasis. Ephemeris. I feel like that squid in Finding Nemo who couldn't say an enemy right. <laughs> you live in what kind of home? Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. So, uh, if you don't know what the, uh, what, uh, the photographer's ephemeris is um, it gives you a crucial information for sunrises and sunsets let's hop over oh by the way I'm not being paid by these guys to to make this video I just came across this uh, um, web app and actually they do have a an app for iOS and Android as well um, it is a paid app and I'll show you guys a little bit of it once uh, uh, once I get through this tutorial for the web version, the web version is free. You just have to sign up for an account, verify your email, good to go. Don't have to pay anything. So let's hop on over to the computer. All right. So this, uh, once you get your account created and all of that good stuff, <clears throat> and you log back in, you're going to be pulled to this. Probably not the same uh, location as I am. I think I started off somewhere in Europe, but for this tutorial. We're placing ourselves in Banff-ish, somewhere around there. Um, pretty straightforward. Right here is where your sun rises. Right here is where your sun sets. 
now you can actually take a look at this and move it. So the sun rises right here. And then you move forward to 11 a.m. Now it's right here, this is where the sun is. Move it forward to about 2 p.m. The sun is right here. And then at around 4 50 to 5 o'clock, that's when it starts setting, right about here. Now, how, why is this so crucial? Or why is this, uh, why is this such a big, uh, big tool for us landscape photographers? One, you know exactly where the sun is going to rise and where it's going to set. And that is huge. If you want the sun to be rising and hitting like the, the, the peaks of the mountains, this is a perfect time to do it. So let's say you are in Banff or Lake Louise, which is positioned right here. There's gonna be mountains all along here, around uh, along the Alberta border here. So if the sun is rising from over here, it's gonna hit those peaks. On the flip side, if you want sunset photos and you wanna have like the, uh, kind of like a silhouette of the, uh, of the mountains, this will help you out there too. And we just gotta fast forward to right here where it sets. You wanna be shooting this way and then you will get those silhouettes of uh, the mountain peaks and all that good stuff. Um, and this also helps uh, astrophotographers as well, especially when uh, when the moon is up and or when it rises and when it uh, uh, sets and all that good stuff. Uh, so at the bottom here, you'll have a little uh, graph of where the sun rises, the moon set, sun set. Then we have all these little other times of the night, the astronomical twilight, the nautical twilight, the civil uh, twilight. So astronomical twilight is ideal for star photography. That's when it's going to be at its most uh, dark and the, the stars will be super, super clear. Uh, nautical twilight is when you start to see more color so uh, say this is the horizon you'll start to see a little bit of yellow and it kind of fades into the dark and then civil twilight is uh, brighter than nautical twilight um, you'll uh, you'll get those sometimes you'll get those purpley colors you'll get the really fiery oranges and yellows and all that good stuff um, and between the astronomical, nautical, and civil twilights, you'll have about between five and seven minutes of light change increments. So it kind of goes pretty fast. So like I said, this, uh, this tool is fantastic. If you need to know where's the sunrise going to be, where's the sunset going to be um, for this day. Oh, might I add, you can plan your shoot well in advance. Let's hop back to the computer here. You see up here where it says November 8th, 2020, time of recording, but you won't see this till the 11th. Uh, say you want to go July 1st, Canada Day. Sunrise, sunset, boom. So now you can kind of see, okay, well, the sun is going to be rising right here, which is still going to be okay for those uh, mountain peak um, or for the sun hit, to rise to hit those those mountain peaks. Still okay. However, it's setting way over here now. So the sun rises over here, and then as the day progresses, the sun sets right over here. So that will kind of give you a, uh, a little glimpse into what what the day will hold for you in terms of the position of the sun and all that good stuff um and then at the bottom here sorry one more thing on the free web app that it all of this stuff is in their uh their paid uh, ios and android app as well so you guys are covered there so you can kind of plan it on here and then if you want you can go buy the actual app for your iphone or android and then uh you'll have it with you when it comes uh, time to, to actually get that shot. So down here, it's kind of like a, uh, right here where it says zero, that is the horizon. So once you move uh, your cursor back, that's probably right, yeah, right there is about where the sun is gonna be at its highest. 
probably not good <laughs> for landscape photos unless maybe you have an ND filter. So, okay, so that is the um, web app for the, the photographer's M uh, ephemeris. It is free. All you have to do is create an account and then uh, you just gotta verify your email. You're good to go. Now, okay, so let's fire up the photographer's ephemeris. Reset to today's date. Yes, all right. So now we're in Edmonton. Anyways, this is the Mutart, Mutart Conservatory in Edmonton. It's uh, basically our little, our pyramids. Um, it's kind of like uh, an indoor garden. <laughs> and every uh, pyramid has its own uh, climate and different, uh, different flowers and plants from all over the world and all that good stuff. If you're ever in Edmonton, go check that out for sure. Yeah, for sure. All right. Okay, so today is November 8, 2020. Uh, same thing as before, plan it out on the, uh, the web app first, and then uh, you can take your photographer's ephemeris app for your iPhone or Android. Everything that you planned out on your computer will always be exactly the same on your, on your phone here. So, um, yeah, that is kind of crazy. Oh, and it also has uh, AR as well. My apologies, you get to have a little experience of what my basement looks like, but those little dots, uh, the ones that are right here in the crosshairs, are actually, that's where the moon path is. This app was about $11 on the App Store. Yeah, I think it's a good buy. Uh, you'll get to see exactly where the sun is going to be rising, setting, all that good stuff. Alright, drop the pin, right in Calgary. Same thing. So, all of everything, like... This app overall is fantastic to plan out your uh, where the sun is going to rise, where it's going to set, where the moon's going to rise, where the moon is going to set, uh, the best times to get those uh, those star photos, all that good stuff. So, um, so I think that wraps it up for today. Uh, if you could please go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. I'll let you know when I upload my next video. Uh, also, a uh, quick another reminder, update, new video schedule now is every Wednesday and Sunday starting November 11th, which is this video, every Wednesday and Sunday. Also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Links are in the description below. So I think, uh, I think that does it for today, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.